let us create a drip campaign so the very first thing is i'll open the crm in a new tab the reason is we'll have to switch between automations and crm one or two times now i have a custom field named as lead stage you can create a custom field easily from here and i already have created it so i want to trigger a different series of messages or a drip of messages message flows whenever the lead state changes for the contact so the very first thing i'll do is i'll go to the automations builder click on workflow click on create workflow and i'll name the workflow and then i'll click on this plus icon and i'll select the option of crm so this is basically the trigger when should this automation start and i want to trigger it on any specific custom field update that is whenever the lead stage custom field is getting updated now i am unable to see my custom fields here i'll simply click on this refresh icon and then all of my custom fields are visible i select the lead stage option and click on generate hook now this web hook has been generated and automatically set in the crm triggers the next next thing i have to do is i have to click on capture incoming web hook and i'll have to go back to the crm go to you know the contacts page click on this view icon and update the lead stage custom <coughs> custom field so the automations flow will get some sample data and we can create the flow effectively so here i have updated the lead stage to cold now as soon as i'll update the custom field i'll see here in the second tab that the data is received in the automations builder and you can click on show received data and then we can see that uh, the updated id is lead stage and value is cold now i'll simply click on save so the sample webhook data have has been saved in the next step i click on this icon to add a next step block the very first thing is i'll click on this setting icon and add a basic router because i want different set of flows for hot leads or cold leads now once you have added a router you can add more branches by simply clicking on this router like this for now we'll use only two branches now then click on this setting icon and click on setup filter and here we have first setting up the filter for lead stage as cold now in the input we'll basically match the updated value as cold so if the update value is cold then this particular flow would start and if the updated value is hot so in this sample data it is not hot but we obviously can set it the custom field value is hot so we are basically creating a conditional flow like this or conditional route like this now what will happen is whenever a custom field of lead stage value is changed for any contact to cold the data would come here in the a uh, trigger and then this particular route will be picked up and this won't go and if the date if the custom field value for any contact has been updated to hot this route will be taken up now in the next step i want to send a whatsapp message so i'll simply select the option of crm and then select the option of send template message why template message because WhatsApp only allows you to send template messages if the last incoming of uh, incoming message from your lead or your contact has crossed 24 hours so it is always suggested to use template messages for drip campaigns now i am not able to see my channel so i simply click on this refresh icon
my channels are visible i select the required channel and then i click on this refresh icon to load the templates now this particular template can have variables can have buttons and you have to define the destination whatsapp number so when we triggered this workflow we have also received the customer's whatsapp number in the option of chat data waba so to enter the destination number you need, simply need to click on this waba from the chat data now this template has only one variable in actual but i am seeing four different fields the reason is the rest three there are three buttons in this particular template so button payload is basically optional you can completely avoid it so we'll just set the body variable so the message can be sent with appropriate variable now this data can also be filled by other custom fields of this particular contact so if you have the name so the whatsapp name is you know visible here as the chat data name option so you can personalize the drip campaign with the data from your custom field button payload you can presently ignore it we'll take it in different uh, tutorial video on how to utilize this and then simply click on save the next step is i want to add a delay of three days so i simply click on this icon and then i'll select the option of delay time delay days three and then i want to send another message so again crm send template message so i'll have to wait to refresh or basically when the system fetches the data okay now this particular template has two body variables and no buttons so first of all i'll enter the whatsapp number from this chat data waba option waba variable and the body variables i'll keep one fixed so maybe sir or ma'am and the second variable i'm getting from the custom field of category save so again if you want to add more messages you can simply add delays so maybe after 7 days one important information this delay is not from the start it is after the bot has reached here or the automation worker has reached here so as soon as the drip campaign has started it will send first whatsapp message then it will wait for 3 days then it will send send second whatsapp message now it is going to wait for 7 more days not 4 days because 7 minus 3 is 4 no it is going to wait for 7 more days and then you can add your flow further same thing will apply for the hot you can send a whatsapp message immediately using the crm send template message option now this particular template the my test template one has one button but it is a button variable and not button payload so this is a compulsory field all the variables are compulsory field and it also has a header image variable so i'll simply enter the whatsapp number as chat data waba next i need to upload a image so i'm adding this image next the body fields can be personalized using the custom fields or even can be fixed and this is basically a url variable button so i'm simply entering this and then 
the most important thing that you need to do is always save your workflow or else your work will be lost and also enable the workflow if you don't enable it your drip campaign won't work so this is how you can create the drip campaign based on custom field change now you can also have multiple drip campaign automation flows for different custom fields or you can also have more triggers in the CRM wherein if you want to start a drip series for whenever a new contact is created in the CRM. So this also applies when you have imported your contacts via CSV or you receive any incoming message to your WhatsApp number. So you can have a drip series even for this. You just have to change the trigger and then the remaining logic still will remain the same. Thank you.